I was remembering that he had to have a, a blowtorch, you know, because the paint was really thick here, and I don't know if you use, I don't know if you use something else on top of the paint or not, but it was all those fumes that he was smelling as he cleaned off all of this stuff. Yeah, there are several and the coats railing. of paint on here that all came off yeah. on the railing. And see how clear it is, you never know it was painted. And I think there, were, there was paint on the steps too, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah. So that's what made him sick, smelling all those fumes as he cleaned them off. And he was really sick. He could not, you know, walking unsteadily. Mm -hmm. And But then he was determined to go to work that day. We kept saying, you can't go. I think you went. <laughs> yeah. yeah, having to drive. But they, he cleaned them beautifully, as you can see. There's not a, a sign of any paint. It probably took him a couple of weeks. I don't think it took more. Uh, but that using a blowtorch and growing up, you know, and all They weren't that. in place when I cleaned them. Mm -hmm. All this was taken apart, and that made it easier to clean them individually. Yes. When the staircase, the staircase was down at one point, mm -hmm. and we had some friends from Cleveland who came by, who had children, and they all wanted to hear it. I was petrified, you know, with a lot of kids and an open stairway so that they could just fall. But it all turned out all right. <laughs>